Hello and welcome to another episode of Lemur's Corner. I am Lemur and today we're going to be talking about our Horde base. Uh, as a note, this base did somewhat work for day 21. Uh, now I want to note there was a glitch in the middle of it um, that made it where we all died. I will show you that and I'm going to show you how I'm going to prevent that for the next time. However, um, I want to give you the tour of the Horde base. Um, I did have some audio issues when it came to day 21, uh, the Horde night, so I'm not probably going to post that video. Uh, as I said, it's also very short. We did not successfully defend quote unquote, um, but I'm going to go ahead and talk about that. But let's talk about the base, why we did it and what we did um, to defend it. So as you see, as we walk down here, um, you can see that we have our whole base around here and it's uh, basically kind of a path or labyrinth type structure uh, instead of the drop base that we had last time, which I did do a full view or tour of. So I will leave that in the description down below if you want to check it out or it'll be a card up in the corner. But this is the Alpha 20 base that we made and basically what it is is it's a labyrinth. Um, and what ends up happening is they have to go up certain rows in order to get to us at the very top uh, into some hatch frames as you can see up there. But um, one of the things we did is we introduced spikes down at the bottom. You can see those were not used as much reason being is we do not have any puncher robot turrets yet uh, and I will show you where I'm going to put puncher robot turrets and why I like this design so much. So initially we had spikes all the way out to one layer outside of this. You can see those spikes did not survive the horde night uh, but basically the horde came in um, and then they come up these stairs. From there, they have to go up onto the second layer. They run around here and come up here. This is where you're gonna see our first set of punchers uh, because they initially have to go to a stair on that side or over on this side. And that's where we're gonna introduce punchers right here on the outside of these. Um, they're not gonna be on this path, but we're gonna put one more block out here and the punchers will sit here and punch them back into the middle, hopefully into the pit, but at least resetting them uh, so we can continue to fight them uh, up here on this level. And that allows us to continue to hold. Um, we can have people up in this spotting area up here where we've made some open frames. For those of you who are wondering, those frames, the interior ones like that where they're just a frame squares uh, are actually the exact same HP as a full square. So you can use those as defensible turrets um, and I highly recommend it for the HP level that they are. But so then they come through here then they come up here um, after they touch the spikes. Uh, I almost actually touched that I got lucky there. Then they come up to layer number two. On layer number two they're going to swing back up um, and then they've got A and B. Normally they're going to go over to B over here and that's why we're going to put a Third puncher right here facing out in this situation. Um, reason being is I normally could punch them back in this way, um, which we may because it pushes them into the spikes rather than outside the spikes. Uh, we haven't fully decided how we want to manage that because we do have a pillar underneath this, so we can kind of go a little crazy with that. But we're going to do some punchers here, uh, punching them probably in, if I had to guess now as I'm thinking about it, um, or out, as I said, is an option too. You can do them both ways. That'll reset them back to the beginning again. Uh, and then if they do make it through, they come all the way up and then they make it up to the top. And this is where we had our little bit of our glitch issue. So we did not have punchers. So zombies were flowing up to the top, um, lining up right here. So you just sat here with your gun or your bow and just kind of sat here and just basically took out your gun, um, you know, and you're sitting there and you're just targeting and shooting, shooting, shooting right at headshots the whole time. Because the best part is these vaults right here. So these hatches um, allow you to go ahead uh, and uh, shoot from the top on them. Uh, so I can sit here and shoot all day, um, whatever I need to do, and they can't come through here. Uh, let me say that again. They're supposed to not come through here. However, roll the footage. So they're fucking oh, glitching through. Two of them glitched in. It's okay, that doorway so shit does not fucking work. They're just glitching through because we're not we don't have punchers. If they were punchers, it'd be more fun. As you can see, they made it they glitched through. We're not exactly sure what happened, but that gives us a nice protecting layer here for the last node um, that's on here. Uh, for those of you who are wondering what the square footage is on this base, um, there is a ladder going up, I should mention too, to the top, uh, that allows you to go ahead. 
um, and fight birds or something like that. We eventually want to put uh, turrets up here to, to handle the vultures. Uh, the reason I did a hard top on this is because if you have those clear frames, they can shoot acid uh, down. Uh, our first reiteration of uh, a base of this nature had a clear top and the birds were just shooting acid down on us and it was just horrifically bad for us. So um, we did a solid top this time so you can come up here, but we want to put turrets up here so they can shoot the birds as they come in and we don't have to worry about them, um, which is important for us to do. So with all that being said though, um, what are we going to do to prevent the glitching next time? One is simply, I'm just going to go ahead um, and put some frame squares here um, just to introduce another vault um, is literally all I'm going to do. I'm just going to put another hatch in, just do one more right here, uh, and that should at least hopefully prevent the double, the single glitch, and maybe it'll prevent it from going into the second one. If it still doesn't work, we'll figure out what we're going to do from there. But even then, it was because there was there was a pile of zombies, as you saw, on the doors, and they just kind of shot through. I don't know if it was just overcoding or something of that nature that caused it to happen. Once we have punchers on here, we shouldn't have the same issue. Uh, the other fun part is we get to attach turrets to the side of this. So we can find locations for turrets. We can make turret towers, like maybe, you know, make a small turret tower out there where you just put it like you run a post up, you put a turret on top of it, and it just sits there and shoots them the whole time. I mean, there's a lot of versatility to this that the drop bases don't have. Now, the drop bases are extremely defensible. You can drop them in, that you fight them from the bottom, they have to get through your initial defenses up top, then they fall down, take the 50% fall damage, then they're in spikes, then they get through your vault doors. And there's a lot of great things that are introduced by the drop bases i just like this one because you're fighting the zombies more um and and you have you know right in your face and you get to have a lot of fun with it and you can manage some really large hordes with this uh the drop bases do eventually get overwhelmed especially with demos with the way demos work right now those are are horrific for uh, drop bases because they drop in, they blow up, and they blow up right in your face. Um, versus this, they're kind of on the ledge, and you have a good shot of hitting them again. So, um, you know, it's kind of a coin flip of where they end up. But you can see here, um, that is the horde base that we've created. Um, for those of you who are wondering, what is the size of this base, and how do you get up and down? Well, right now, um, we have it where um, you have ladders. You can see we can come up. We don't want them to be staying down in the pit. We want them to come back up uh, and then they can come back up and continue this. If we need to get down there, there are ladders that go all the way down. Um, as you can see, this is a four by four. That's it. Uh, well, actually, it's a five by five or one, two, three, four, five, six. I apologize. Six by six. I can count. I swear. Uh, six by six grid that comes all the way up. Um, I just basically drop down the layer for the first four. Um, then I drop the cement layer for the outside, which I'll show you what that is in a minute. Um, but basically you can see, just put some levels in here um, just in case we needed to, you know, we can fight. But this is the bottom. So we are in the pit. Um, and this layer above us is the layer of the dirt, uh, the concrete. That was the pit. So it's about five deep um, is what it is. And then from there, we just made some spots um, to come up. And I made sure that this layer right here, this open layer, was even with the tallest layer before the vaults so that if someone wanted to shoot they can shoot from the stairs they can pop 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 shoot them up here it gives someone a good angle to manage some of the stuff from this interior square um, and as i said if you want to you can jump up here uh, the problem with up here is you do lose sight of that first layer versus the one down below and that's why i introduced that layer down there was you get access to that second layer and you get a little bit of ground access so you can sit here to start with kind of shoot them as they come in um, but what I like to do personally, um, and once we get iron spikes, uh, we will definitely use this a lot more uh, as an access point, is I actually like to sit right here initially. So as the zombies are coming in, I get to sit right here and just pop, 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 pop. And it's a pretty good straight shot. You can even step down a little bit. And as soon as they start to break through those last level spikes, you make your way out. You can kind of shoot them here. You know, And you want to get to your choke points on you as you continue up. You know wherever that choke point is continuing to shoot them um, and using those punchers to your advantage and then if they break through or something like that you know you can kind of continue to run around holding the next choke point until you fall back uh, to the vaults where then once you pull in you just close the vault door and just, da, 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 and just shoot them right here so that's the horde base that's why i built it the way i did it that's why i have each level um, if you want to see me do a full build like this where i can just show you step by step tell you the exact materials tell you where you stand how you do it and what i do and why i do it um, let me know down in the comments i have no issues doing that um, i will do some custom builds um, i do have some videos coming out for tips and tricks such as that vault door thing or that hatch frame hatch door 
more uh, trick and in including these uh, frame squares that just give you the opportunity to do some fun stuff um, and just in the game in general. So let me know down in the comments down below what you think about that. But if you're new to the channel, subscribe, hit that bell for notification. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, I hope you all have a fantastic day and we see you on the next episode of Lemur's Corner.